is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's sounds good to me. What I've noticed happen is basically my viewership has essentially said, "Man, we would much rather see you do anything else but Divinity 2." Like People ask me for Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap, over Divinity 2. People ask me for MLB The Show 21, a game where all I do is swing at baseballs and talk to you guys. And I suck at it. I'm terrible at it. People ask me for that over Divinity 2, all right? There is a very small group of people who still want to see me continue to play this game. But every single time I play Divinity 2, I get the vast majority of people who actually are watching the stream are saying, this game is boring, we forgive you if you drop the game. I'm not kidding, this has happened probably the last 10 to 15 times I've played this game. So we're talking the whole second half of this playthrough so far. The last 30 hours I've invested in the game, the viewers have constantly told me, no really, <laughs> we're okay if you drop this game and move on and do other things. We can tell you're not enjoying it. We can tell because you're a variety streamer, you're not investing enough time in it to enjoy it. And we've gotten out of the playthrough what we wanted. I hate the fucking game. At this point, as of tonight, we've hit 60 hours, and I'm only halfway through the game. I did not understand that about this game when I took it on as a viewer's choice playthrough. I didn't even know that there were RPGs that were 120 hours long outside of MMOs. I had no idea. I've never tackled a game like this before in my entire life, okay? I'm just being honest with all of you. And quite frankly, if before I had actually started playing it, someone had said to me, Phil, you're aware this game is 120 hours long, I probably would have said, oops. I need to take some kind of an executive action here and make sure that people aren't getting the wrong idea. Because a 120 hour long game is a absolutely ludicrous time investment. Feels greedy, feels low effort. I don't think I've ever played a game that long. If you look at my longest playthroughs that I've ever done, and that includes Persona 5, that includes Skyrim, that includes all these playthroughs where I actually did almost all of the supplementary content. Not a single game I've played in 13 years of content creation has gotten even close to 120 hours. Not one. And I even said, all right, I said up front, <clears throat> with the previous uh, Viewer's Choice events that just happened, like we actually did more Viewer's Choice events since this one started, there's no way that I can take on an insanely long, drawn-out RPG. I just couldn't do it. I, I laid down the law and I said, listen, the games can't be this long. It's just not going to happen. I can't have a game that long in my variety schedule. Again, if it's a new release, that's a different story because people are, are excited to see it. They're committed to seeing a ton of gameplay of a new release within the, the launch weeks of the game. This game is four, four years old now. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It you know what I mean? No one's going to want to see me play Divinity 2 10 hours a week. That's going to kill my viewership. That's going to kill my following. People are not going to say, what are you playing this for? You know? Um... So, really, the way I approach it is like this, okay? I don't want to go back on a promise that I made to the viewers, but it seems like the vast majority of my viewers, for the last 30 hours of this playthrough, are basically saying, Alright, we saw what we wanted to see, you can move on. And I have actually kind of begrudgingly said, No, I'm gonna keep playing it, it's a viewer's choice, I made a commitment, I've already played 50 plus hours, I don't want to drop it. But now, at this point now, right? We're now at 60 hours in. I couldn't even tell you, like, we just killed, what, the first mage guy who's ta taught us about being void woken. How many more are there? Where do I even go to find them? The, the game doesn't really tell you anything. They expect you to just wander in circles. I tried wandering in circles, and I ran into a million things that were too high level for me and beat my ass, and it ended up in entire wasted streams, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mmm. I just don't see a future for this game. I don't. It's too long. And admittedly, if I had known this game was 120 hours, I probably would have said, no, it's not eligible for viewer's choice. That's too much of a commitment. For hitting a subscriber goal for a month? Think about that. It wasn't like there was a special rally cry. or It was just, let's hit a subscriber goal. A mundane number that I came up with one, one month on Twitch last year. And we hit it, and now I'm committing to a playthrough that's going to take a year. I didn't know that. 
This thing is a complete scam. I never knew that. <laughs> and I already gave a playthrough as a result of that viewer's choice event. Anyway, I already did a giant completionist run playthrough of Nier Automata. You see? Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's drinking salt. But again, this just is not the kind of deal. All right. That this is not the kind of game that fits me or my style. And again, if I had known up front what I was getting into, I likely would have vetoed this game and said, I cannot play this for a viewer's choice. Just like I told you guys, for these current now viewer's choice events that we've been doing, there's no way, I tell everyone, there's no way we're doing insanely lengthy RPGs. We're not doing that anymore. Can't. It's too much of an investment and it's too disjointed. And then I get distracted with new releases and then by the time I come back to it, I don't care about it anymore. All right? We barely got through Fire Emblem Three Houses last year. Barely. This is like the insane maximum stretch for me. Of something that I can play. Like, seriously. Alright. So. The way I see it. Unless there's a fucking miracle tonight. I don't think I'm playing this again. I think this is the last hurrah for Divinity Original Sin 2. Because the thing is, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. If I continue to play it. Every time I play it, people will complain. It's boring. Stop playing it. Why are you still playing it? We wish you were doing a million other things. Viewership will be terrible. Support will be terrible. It'll be a waste of time. Everyone will hate it. And I won't be committed to it. I'll be just flubbing my way through it if I even get through it. It's going to take me till the end of fucking 2021 to finish this game. It, this early on, this is not fun. This isn't fun. It's work. That's what they mean. The game is work. It's not fun. It's work. If I quit the game, everyone... Oh, oh Phil didn't live up to his commitments. Phil's a liar. And a, you know what? At this point, it seems like the vast majority of people just aren't interested in the playthrough anymore anyway. They've t outright told me this. They said, do other shit. We'd much rather you see do a million other things. Play any other game than this. And we'll like it better. There are a few people who I know are going to be disappointed. That's the thing. You can't please all of the people all of the time. I think less people will be upset or, or bothered by me quitting the game than actually continuing the game. They'd rather see me not waste those streams. Like, to me, this game is work. To me, this is like, I have to really work my butt off to fucking succeed, and I don't want to do that. I want to have fun. So guys, we got about another 45 to 50 minutes left on the stream, just so everyone knows. I'd appreciate it if you guys could contribute to the stream. Right now, we have $11 in tips, which is incredibly bad, not gonna lie. Uh, being that we're playing this game, I'm not shocked. As I told you earlier on the stream, likely this is probably the final time we're playing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Leet did a $100 tip. That means it's Gunner Glasses time, that means it's Vest time. Holy shit. People are saying that it's a troll channel. Well, first of all, he's tipped before. And like I said, it's verified. That just because this guy uses the state does not actually mean it's the actual troll. I think you guys know that, right? Like, people can just use a name when they tip. Likely this is a guy who maybe he's maybe trying to stick it to the troll. I don't know. But it's a verified tip. It's real. So. He's restreaming this with twice as many viewers, so what does he have? Like, 100? Because I have no idea how many I have. I know I don't have a lot of viewers on this stream. <laughs> I know there's, like, no one watching this. Oh, you know what? We can do a poll. We got a new ability. I can do a poll. We can do a poll right now. Let's try it. Here we go. You guys ready? I seriously have no idea where any of these fucking detractors come from or nothing. I don't even know who the fuck is Ann Lee. I never heard of the guy before. Ann Lee? Who's that? <laughs> I never heard of these people. Anyway, we got about half an hour left on the stream. Thank you guys for your support tonight. In particular, whoever this Ann Lee is, if it really is the person who's the troll and is supporting my stream, or if it's just someone impersonating the troll, whoever you are, thank you for the verified tip. I appreciate that. That helps a ton. Dollar signs for eyes. At this point, you know, we're in June. I don't realistically see myself playing this game again anytime soon. I'm just being honest. We need to hold off on playing Divinity. I don't think I want to say the playthrough is done forever, but I think we need a hiatus, a significant hiatus from it. And I think that I would go back to it when things slow down with all the other things that I'm doing. So whether that means I come back to it in a month, whether that means I come back to it in two months, whether that means I come back to it in a year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to limit myself to a time frame. I'm halfway through the game, essentially. What people are saying is, yeah, you're about 50, 60 hours in. There's probably another 50, 60 hours left, okay? What I'm thinking is, put it on hiatus for now, and then when there's time that things really slow down, like, let's say this summer, things really slow down, or maybe early fall, there's a whole month where there's not a lot of releases, and I know I can commit to playing this two or three times a week, then bring it back so we can make significant progress. You don't stream for the love of gaming. You just want money. Like, that's what you're here for, to suck money, you know? A fucking money vacuum. He's calling yourself the money vacuum stream. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it at this, all right? We're going to leave it at this. We are going to put... We are going to put um, Divinity Original Sin 2 on a, a big hiatus here, all right? This is not going to be my regular repertoire. I'm not even going to worry about trying to fit it in. 
I don't want people to ask about it because I'm just not going to be playing it for a while. So put it on hiatus for a while. Maybe a month, two months, three months, four months, six months, a year, whatever. One day I'll probably go back to it and continue the playthrough. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 